college athletes making big bucks. This month marks one year since the name, image, and likeness ruling changed the game, allowing student athletes to cash in on endorsement deals and even launch businesses of their own. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke with a student athlete at CU Boulder to learn how this playing field is full of opportunity. At the start of her student athlete journey with CU Boulder, Jada Drame could only dream of starting her own business. I didn't really thought anything of it. I'd see girls on Instagram like getting partnerships with like different companies like skincare companies. But now because of NIL, what was once just a hobby for Jada turned into a full operation, Drame Apparel. When they came out with NIL, now you can make money off of your name and who you are and like your, your success on the field and off the field. Jada designs and even sews her own clothes, now able to promote her clothing line on her Instagram and create relationships with businesses. It's nice because if you're not on full scholarship, you can still supplement your, like, you don't have to go work a job. Like, as athletes, we, being an athlete and a student is a full-time job. Yes. For Director of Athletics at CU Boulder, Rick George, NIL is a positive step for many student athletes. If it's done right, it's really good for the student athletes. It's a great learning opportunity for them to be able to structure business relationships. So I think there's a lot of positives, but there are some negatives that we have grave concerns about. Some concerns revolve around how far reaching NIL can be and what student athletes are being paid for. A student athlete ought to be able to monetize their name, image and likeness. And I think if they do it legally and legitimately, I think it's great. I, I have some concerns about you know, uh, offering somebody $50,000 as an offensive lineman and it really doesn't have anything to do with their name, image and likeness. That's concerning to us and I don't think that's sustainable. Another agency partnering with CU and other universities across the country is Brander. One way that our agency is able to help support student athletes is we do the work for them. Through its group licensing program, men and women athletes can profit while using the school's official trademarks and logos. Group licensing is great because it actually gets more student athletes involved and more opportunities created versus a company just putting out products for maybe one star player. <clears throat> and additionally, everything that comes through our program is officially licensed and it's co-branded with the student athletes. Brander says even if student athletes are already venturing on their own business ideas, partnering with their group licensing program wouldn't have an impact. For Jada, it's an exciting moment to be a part of. Have my drama apparel and be able to support myself, like my athletic career, and sponsor myself. And one future generations will be able to access for years to come. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. So as you saw a little bit there, name, image, and likeness has a little bit of controversy with it. Taking a closer look, college coaches and administrators have expressed concerns that the NIL has created a free agency in the college ranks with athletes transferring to schools where they can get a better deal. Last month, the NCAA's Division I Board of Directors published new guidelines that clarify that boosters and newly created companies providing athletes with deals at particular schools should not have contact with athletes or their families.